What is the price to free cash flow ratio? Price to free cash flow is a valuation metric used by investors to determine how much they're willing to pay for a company stock compared to the free cash flow of that company. It's calculated by taking the company's share price and dividing it by the free cash flow per share. Free cash flow is the amount of cash left over after a company has accounted for its cash outflows to support operations and maintain its capital assets. It's calculated by taking the company's operating cash flow minus capital expenditures, all of which can be found on the statement of cash flows. A company can use free cash flow to pay down debt, distribute its dividends, or reinvest in the business to fund growth. How do investors use the price the free cash flow metric? In absolute terms, if a company trades on a low price to free cash flow multiple, it could be an indication that the company is undervalued relative to the free cash flow it can generate. In relative terms, investors use the price to free cash flow multiple as a benchmark against other companies, industries, or the market as a whole. It enables investors to determine whether one investment is cheap or expensive relative to the other. Let's say Bill Ackman wants to invest in Super Snacks Inc. Super Snacks generates $2 million in cash flow from operations, but spends $1 million in capital expenditures each year, resulting in free cash flow of $1 million. The company also has 500,000 shares outstanding and trades on a share price of $4. Using the price to free cash flow ratio, we could say that Super Snacks trades at two times its free cash flow. In other words, it would take you two years before you'd make your money back based on the free cash flow the company can generate. A company may trade on a high price to free cash flow multiple if the market is bullish on the future prospects of the company. In contrast, it may trade on a low price to free cash flow multiple if the market is pessimistic about the company's future developments. The price to free cash flow multiple alone is not enough to make an investment decision. It's only one of the many metrics investors use to evaluate stocks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button.